What is going on, y'all, and welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Unknown Factions, and thank you for joining me for some more time. Today, I'm going to be catching y'all up to speed on what I've been doing out here in the middle of the ocean. I have been working hard, destroying materials like they are nothing. You know, thankfully, I'm supplied by a very active server right now. But first, if you're new here, please do consider subscribing and smashing that like button. Both are greatly appreciated, and you know you want to. But with all that said, let's jump right into it, shall we? So first, all I did was come back, and I just raised up these stone columns, and I went every six, that's six spaces, and then I laid another stone column, which every other one I did too. And then after I did that, I just went around, and I wrapped the entire top with this little boardwalk, because I was just kind of feeling out what I wanted to do here. And some of the gaps are big, so you know, you might have to do some little little tricks like that you know to be able to reach your next snap point and bring it all the way over but like I said I was debating hard on how I wanted these walls to look so I started from the top and just kind of helped myself imagine how I wanted these walls to be and yes all this stuff is weathering out in the rain and kind of warping but it doesn't completely break it's only at half health and I am still up debating whether or not I'm going to roof this all the way off or I'm just going to lay a layer of stone in between, you know, with reinforced iron, of course, holding it up. It's still up for debate. You know, I think I see the castle wall style top with the stone, no, with just one stone layer over it. But after that, you know, still debating a lot. I moved back downstairs to do the side walls and I went with this more decorative style pattern and just by creating a diamond in the center of it you have to run a nice solid layer which so we did four half boards in the middle and then of course two full board rows on the side and then we just follow that all the way around the top it looks like i popped the board out right there on accident but it's all right and that was a little off center and, you know so some of the snap points are a little high you know you might have to jump to pop some of them depending on where you're at you know like that and then of course if you're having a lot of trouble you can just run up top but after that then we're just going to case the side in which i do this it gives us some nice snap points we're going to use right here and then we're just going to follow them all the way around so two on top two on the side and these just go right like that boom boom and then we're going to grab our boards and we're just going to fill in right here boom. and this gives us our center snap points now to get your center snap point on the sideboard we're going to have to take these and do that and that cuts that board right in half and now we can drop little pegs right in the center of all of these but a boom now just fill it in with these corner boards just like that and we have voila a nice little ornate pattern and then you can just fill the corners in I mean this is optional like I I did it and then I'm even debating on running another board right there connecting the corners of the boxes I don't know I think it's a little much, but I might do it eventually. We'll see. Or run some iron or something else inside of it. We have time. I'm just trying to get these bridges up to a point to where I'm happy with it and I can move on to the foundation of these castles. That's what I really want to build on. But after mirroring everything we did on the first bridge onto this second bridge, which was a lot of work, you know, I just kind of snap right to it. But, you know, after days of doing this, we have two big ass beautiful bridges. And it takes a lot a lot of material I'm not gonna lie thousands upon thousands upon thousands of material have been used already and even more to come but after you get done mirroring everything you've done as you can see we're just gonna hop on top and I'm gonna add this same pattern that I did on the bottom right here on the top and it's just gonna kinda help complete the style of the bridge where you can have this weaved board running around top and bottom you know, without it, it just looks kind of plain. You know what I mean? Like, you can look at the other one right there and see it without it. And you could put another roof on it. It just wouldn't look right. So, by weaving these boards right here, you know, you're adding more definition and texture, detail. It's a win-win. And, of course, you know, if you, you do build too much, things are going to just destroy when you walk around here. It's going to lag out. You'll have instances through the roof, which you can always check by hitting F2. There's a tip for you if you're building. You know, you want to keep it... Like right now, I'm sitting at like 4,800 instances, which is really good for the amount that I've built here, but it's so sprawling and it's spread out that some of it actually despawns when you're on one end of it. But jumping back over to the high rise after you get done running that rim around the top, 
what I have in mind here is that I'm going to do two of these little slanted walls and then I'm going to embed some either fires or hearths if I can get them to fit in here it might be too narrow for the hearths but then I can put the dragon heads on top and they'll have like a backlit fire we could use sirling trophies but they're just not as bright for what we need I needed to light up the area behind the dragon heads or the wolf heads, whichever I use to put up in here. But I just want the entrance way lit for the high rise bridge. So when you're sailing in at night, you'll be able to see clear as day where you have to put the long ship, which you know you have to drive slow and get directly in the center of this thing. Otherwise, you're not gonna fit, especially on a stormy night, you know, because I built this kind of tight. It could be bigger. Who knows? Might expand it later on if people on the server have a lot of trouble getting in and out of it, because you have to go right in the center like that is no joke but besides that I've just been running around plugging holes you know finding misplaced boards because you know I've just kind of been flying around hitting everything all at once trying to keep both these bridges in the same place you know building one up building the other up so you know there's a lot of little things that I might have missed but I'm definitely gonna take my time going around filling in everything you know flipping boards around ones that are backwards this and that you know filling a couple stone holes and of course, I just started working on the foundation of the castles themselves. So I have a large ring right here, which is, you know, I did three and then I turned one and then three and then I turned one and that made the initial foundation of gonna be the base castle on this corner. And then I'm gonna do two smaller circular castle buildings right at the ends of each one of these bridges. So yeah, it's gonna look beautiful. And of course, I'm gonna keep the same style with the wooden stone, you know, every other. That way it has the same kind of feng shui when you're looking at the walls to the buildings you know that way everything matches but besides that don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button for me y'all i really appreciate it and of course you don't want to miss the next episode when we actually get started on building these castles because that's what's coming next thanks for stopping by y'all and i will catch you in the next one